What does President Obama's proposed budget mean for you? We profiled several Americans of different ages, professions, and tax brackets. Here to tell us if they're budget winners or losers is Jill Schlesinger, Executive Vice President of Strategic Point Investment Advisors. Good morning, Jill. Good morning. All right, let's listen to our first average American. He's a 47-year-old freelance actor. Okay. Hi, my name is Claudio Iacobellis, and I work freelance in the motion picture industry. I purchased a home for $350,000 in 2006, and the mortgage is approximately $300,000. The value of the home now is $150,000, and the banks are not willing to renegotiate with me. Am I a winner or am I a loser? Is he a winner or a loser? He's actually a winner. He is a winner because he may be able to actually refinance his mortgage through the Obama plan. There's our little, we know that he's a winner because yeah. we got a ding. <laughs> he's going to probably get some money back in taxes and he's going to get a stimulus check. Of course, you know, his house has gone down in value, but under the terms of this budget, he is actually a winner. All right, good for Claudio. All right, next we have a couple. They own their own small business and they have not given themselves a paycheck in eight Aye. months. Eight months. Hi, my name is Lisa Hendrickson and this is my husband Felix and together we own Hendrickson Custom Cabinetry. Recently we had to lay off a large number of employees. So we were wondering how this budget will uh, affect our business, hopefully positively. Well, what's the answer and are they winners or losers in this new budget? Under the budget, they are winners. They actually are winners. And here's the thing. Small businesses may be able to deduct losses for a longer period of time. So from the small business tax point, they're probably winners. Again, they may be able to renegotiate some mortgages they have. They'll get a stimulus. They'll get some money back from the stimulus. Their taxes are going down. I also want to say there's small business owners who have laid off 26 of 30 of their employees, they just said. So I would say that even though they're winners in this, that is a very tough pill to swallow. Absolutely. Okay, next, we have a single woman who makes a good income. My name is Valerie Coleman. I'm a senior real estate manager. My salary is 200000 per year. Am I a budget winner or loser? What's Valerie is our biggest loser today. Why? Unbelievable. She's single. She makes $200,000. Her tax rate is going up. She will not get a dollar in help from the government. She makes too much money to get anything. And by the way, she's like a double loser because she works in the real estate industry. So I bet her salary was much higher a few years ago. And so when we hear about people who make 200 as individuals, 250 as couples, we want to really underscore that in some areas, that's not a lot of money. And for her, this is a huge losing proposition. Her taxes are going way up. Okay, I want to jump ahead to our last woman who, uh um, she is someone who's looking towards retirement. Mm. Let's hear from her. Good morning. I'm Dr. Lucille Pilling. I'm a professor at New York University and a consultant in global public health, particularly women's health. I've had no consultant business since September. I did my budgets yesterday. I would like to think I could retire within the next few years, but with this budget and these times, there's no way that I can afford to do it. Am I a budget winner? or loser. What's the answer? I think she's actually a winner. She didn't tell us how much money she made, but I'm assuming as a professor, she doesn't make more than $200,000. She is going to get some money probably back from the stimulus. Again, everyone's a winner and loser in this because when you hear her story, she hasn't had consulting income since September. Her money is going down. She's on the cusp of retirement. So let's talk about these are the most unlucky people in the world. This financial crisis hit at the worst possible time for Lucille. And frankly, Julie, of all the stories that we hear about, these are the people who are most dramatically affected. There is no more time left. Wow. Jill Schlesinger, thank you. Thank you.